Good morning. And this morning I want to talk about how to record gameplay and in fact the desktop from the PlayStation 3. Now the footage you're seeing as I'm talking now is from the PlayStation 3 and it's Motorstorm Pacific Rift. But you can't just turn on the PlayStation 3, plug in your capture card and capture the signal. It won't allow you to do that because of HDCP. Now I've already made a couple of videos talking about how to sort this out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and the reality is that they're actually a little bit easier. You can actually turn off HDCP on the PlayStation 4 for when you want to capture gameplay and the Xbox is actually, well, it's pretty <laughs> intelligent when it comes to things like this and it will actually do it for you on the fly so you can actually record gameplay without really thinking about it straight out of the box. Things can get a little bit more complicated and I have gone into that but that's for another video. Today we're talking about the PlayStation 3. So how do you do it with the PlayStation 3? Well, <laughs> what you need is a splitter and what that does is it will take the HDMI signal and it's designed to split it so you can send it to two televisions but some splitters will actually remove HDCP. Now the reason for doing that is not because you want to do anything nefarious it's just so you can record your gameplay and if you want to do gameplay recordings as I say you will need a splitter and the splitter I use is the one you can see on screen at the moment and it's the HDMI switch iSolum two-way HD splitter box and it's pretty cheap. Now you can get more expensive versions of this and well from different manufacturers but you don't really need them. You don't need 4K and all the rest of it, all the bells and whistles. You just need this splitter that will do 1080p because the PlayStation 3 only outputs 1080p. So I'll put a link in the description to this one if you're interested in it. It will do the job and you basically need to plug it in and set it up and you should be good to go. That's pretty much all you need to do. Now I will just quickly show you how you set it up. So as you can see on the screen at the moment we've got a PlayStation 3 and it's going into the Isolum box. Now you would take the HDMI out of the PlayStation 3, plug it into the HDMI input of the HDMI splitter and then you can actually as I say go to two televisions or a projector and a TV or a projector and a monitor, TV, monitor, however you want to mix it up. But in my instance all I'm doing is I'm going into the HDMI and then out from HDMI 1 to my monitor and in fact I'm actually going through a home cinema amp first and out to my monitor but that's for another day perhaps. Basically you go into the splitter and then out from the splitter to the TV or the monitor and that's basically all you need to do and once you've done that and it's all set up it should work perfectly and you should be able to capture your PlayStation 3 footage to your capture device. And as I say, the proof of the pudding's in the eating and you can see Motorstorm on screen as I speak now. The one thing I will say about this splitter, it doesn't actually come with a power supply. It comes with a little USB lead and you would plug it into a phone charger, something like that. So uh, that was a little bit annoying. That's probably why it's so cheap. But it does do the job very well. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. As I say, people have asked me how to do this and this is how you do it. If there's any questions, ask in the comments and uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you uh, get through any problems you might have. But in the meantime, I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea, <laughs> as, as usual, and I will speak to you in the next one. Bye.